Hi friends, what's on my mind today? Well, we've gone from the dog days of summer in September in Rapid City, South Dakota, to being stopped by a snowstorm in Montana, to some sunshine in Washington and our way and on our way into Oregon. And now we're sitting in Oregon in much, much more typical weather this time of year. It's raining. And we lived in Portland for 27 years, so we understand rain. But sure missing some of that sunshine in Mexico. Well, we're RVing. And one of the things I enjoy about RVing is uh, there's always something to fix. And it never seems like there's any kind of... Uh, a lag or a hiatus in having things to fix in an RV. So when it started raining, and it's probably the first time the RV's been in rain for some time since it was last winter in Arizona and stored uh, in Arizona. Uh, when it started raining, I have a leak. And the leak, I have determined, is from a wire let me show you. Up there at the top of my slide, see those wires? Well, wait a second. Let me turn on the light. Well, you don't see it very well in the daytime, but there's a light on up there. Well, what I figured out is that some of those wires were pinched into the slide seal. And that was making the water run under the slide seal right down the corner here drip 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 into the dish pan i put there and i had another dish pan over here well i have um air an air leveling system in the rv so i started the engine and i tipped the rv like that actually it was like that and that made the rain run off the slide outside the other direction. Oh, and I have this highly sophisticated um, device that shows me uh, whether I'm level or not. Of course, there's always the uh, there's always the uh, bathroom door test. If the bathroom door stays out there. You know exactly which way your RV is tipped. But I have this other device, and it's amazing. It's really, really accurate. It always works. It requires no batteries. Watch this. <laughs> put it over there. Put it over here on the counter. So you can see the rain is going to run off the slide and not drip. However, moving up here, I then started getting <laughs> a drip on this window. And my temporary solution, since I can't go out there and put some more sealer at the top of the window frame, I clipped a couple of um, chip clip actually that one's a clothespin, and a dish towel, and it soaked up the water and drained into another dish pan. And then I figured out that I could actually just put up my awning and it didn't rain on that window. My video today, I'm working on finishing up some editing of clips I have from my family back in South Dakota and my relatives, including my... Um, 101 year old mom likes to see herself on <laughs> YouTube. So there's some of that today. Uh, and I wanted to tell you some of my videos that I have coming up. I have a couple of uh, product reviews that I've been asked to do and have agreed to do. Um, uh, you'll see those coming up in the next uh, week or 10 days. Uh, I was invited recently to a subscriber, a viewer, a YouTube viewer's uh, home and um, here in the Portland area and it's a very nice home 
and uh, they didn't want to be on YouTube, but they very graciously allowed me to take some uh, video of the interior of their home, and um, it's a very nice house. Uh, I mean, a very nice house. <laughs> you, you'll be uh, seeing a video of that. Anyway, please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. So you're asking me, do I have any pictures of you? Do you have any pictures of me? Yep. <laughs> yep. What are you doing, Cheryl? I'm dealing. You're dealing? I've heard you can get arrested for that. Oh, oh, cards. <laughs> yeah, and I did it wrong. I skipped mom again. Why do I do that? Are you playing baseball, mom? I think so. Did you play cribbage today? Did I ever? <laughs> <laughs> what happened? I skunked you. Yeah? Both games? And beat you. <laughs> beat me. You've been beating me since I was a little kid. You used to beat me with a broom. <laughs> and I, and I stood broke the broom. You broke one of them right over my head, and then you beat me with the short end of oh, it because I, I broke the broom. Oh, I did not. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Ah, uh, it's my story. I'm sticking to it, and it's right. the way I've been telling it for okay. 70 years. Stick to it, but <laughs> you're no better. What about you? My mother used to bring stick on me too. Yeah. This is your card. Mm -hmm. We just laughed. I've asked me my brother's stories. Oh, well, I got stories about you. I'm going <laughs> to tell them tomorrow. Oh. Yeah. What's that trophy for? Cribbage. Cribbage. And uh, have you ever played cribbage with your son Jerry? Yes, my baby. <laughs> yeah, I know, but uh, I have an excuse. I'm playing cribbage with the Echo Ridge Cribbage Champion. And uh, how often does that uh, wind up here on your refrigerator? Oh, I've had it for three weeks in a row sometimes. Really? Well, uh, then I don't feel so bad about getting beat. You play with a lady who's ever been as good as you, did you say? I think so. Yeah? Who is she? Diana. Now you're taking pictures again. Yeah, that's why you always talk slow, because I'm taking a picture. But you are going to tell me who her famous relative was. Bob, Bob Barker. Bob Barker's... Cousin. Cousin. Did you ever meet Barb Barker? Well, I saw him grow up. He was this high. And he lived in the Clawson Hotel in Mission, South Dakota. With his mother. With his mother, who was your third grade school teacher. Right? Tilly Barker? Third grade. She was high school. Oh, high school. Do we have any other connection to... Famous Bob Barker? If you put that camera down. <laughs> Bob Barker's godmother is... Rose. Rose. My grandmother and your mother-in-law. When Bob Barker brought his report card home? He would yell and holler. And Rose said, he's trying to make us think till he's beat him or something. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't there a story about Dad catching him in front of the big picture windows at the hotel? Oh yeah, he used to go up and they had elastic waistband on their slacks. And Bob Barker was how old? Well, he wasn't in school yet. Yeah. And Dad was how old? Like a teenager? Dad? Yeah, my dad. Well, I don't know how old he was. 
I think it was before we even dated. Mm hmm. And he'd walk up in dirt bumps, pants down in the front window of the hotel when there wasn't any customers there. <laughs> <laughs> well, you think Bob Barker would like to hear about that? Well, his name wasn't actually Bob, was it? It was Billy. William Roberts. Little Billy Barker. <laughs> That's what we called him then, Billy. Who built the Mission Hotel? I think Pete did. Pete, Pete Clausen? My grandpa? I think so. Okay. And at one time, didn't they own a bank and a flour mill and a... They owned the bank. Yeah. I think another guy <clears throat> worked with him or owned part of it with him. I'm not sure. But the bank went broke in the Depression. Well, because the other guy took everything and ran away with it. Oh, you ran away with the money? Well, you know, my cousin Bob and I have always thought that when we got to be 21, the family would tell us where the money was. And then when we got to be 35, we said, oh, for sure they're going to tell us where the money was. At 50, we we're sure it was good. We're now hoping for when I get to be 75 that you're still here and you're going to tell me where's the money. It was the other guy that ran away with the money you're selling me. <laughs> right? Well, of course. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you <laughs> accuse me of that? <laughs> no, she wasn't even married to him then. In the Great Depression, you were still where? When was the Great Depression? That the stock market crash? 1929, wasn't it? What year were you born, Mom? 18. 18. So you were just at the, you were just a little kid at the beginning of the Great Depression. Ten years old. What about when uh, your dad thought he had a job waiting for him out in Wyoming somewhere and he had to go in the covered wagon to get there? He worked for Key Lime Ranch. Yeah? What'd he do? Was he like a cow hand? Big ranch. Yeah? Get him rounded up for branding or so forth. Did you live there? Did mm -hmm. you live on that ranch with them? Yeah. How did you heat the house in the winter? Well, we had a big ranch house, and I don't know. But didn't you and your sister used to go out and pick up cow chips? Buffalo chips. Not out there, no. But you have done that. Yeah. And you used the buffalo chips in the cook stove, right? Well, there wasn't any buffalo on the Key Lime Ranch. Oh. But you made sure they were dry cow <laughs> chips, right? Yeah. yeah. Teach Roger how to do this, would you? <laughs> <laughs> That was my video, right? Happy birthday, Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday, dear Jerry. And Linda. And Linda. Happy birthday to me. Us. And Linda too. And Linda too. Okay. I'm going to try very, very, very hard not to spit on the cake. Okay. <laughs> I appreciate that. Oh, oh, good job. Wow. Wow. No girlfriends? Huh? <laughs> no girlfriends. Oh, dang, I forgot to make a wish. <laughs> uh, Is it too late? Yeah, no. Uh, uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. One, wait a minute. two, wait, wait, wait. three. There's three pugs in the kitchen. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. 
Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.